I'm Jonathan Nelson for the California Academy of Family Physicians with a special report on the value of family medicine and the medical home. In America, we pay significantly more for health care than in any other country in the world. Each year, that cost outpaces the rate of inflation as the country searches for a solution. Your Academy leads a chorus of organizations touting the many benefits of the medical home. But what exactly is a medical home? I see the medical home as a, a place of first entry, a place where uh, you know the people that you're going to go visit, the physicians, the nurses, the staff, and they know you and they have taken care of your medical records for you. Um, they are familiar with your medical history. Uh, and from there, if you need more, uh, they can direct you to the right place. We're the specialty of breath. We're able to take care of so many problems. We're able to decide when something is just a very common condition because we take care of a lot of common conditions. But because we take care of the common, we're also able to recognize the uncommon. And that's a, a very important skill. The patient-centered medical home gives patients a personal primary care physician who leads a team of individuals dedicated to providing comprehensive and continuous care. In a medical home, physicians employ systematic solutions to ensure patients receive safe, high-quality care that's coordinated across all components of the complex health care system. Patients enjoy enhanced access to their physicians, and physicians are paid appropriately for managing their care. People being cared for by primary care physicians in ongoing relationship in a primary care medical home or something like it get more attention paid to their health when it's still good. There's a reason they call it preventive health care. It's preventing uh, the problems down the line and I think it's a lot more cost effective to manage someone's diabetes well than it is to pay for dialysis or their amputation. Several recent studies have shown that in areas where primary care physicians provide the majority of care, patients receive a higher quality of care at a lower cost. In North Carolina, for example, one Medicaid program increased payment rates and paid a per-member, per-month fee to physicians to enhance patient care coordination. In addition to better health outcomes and increased access to care, this program saved the state about a quarter of a billion dollars in 2004 alone. Increased access to family physicians results in lower rates of all-cause mortality, fewer emergency room visits, less duplication of expensive services and more preventive care, all of which leads to more efficient usage of health resources and better outcomes for patients. When a patient is getting good, integrated, coordinated care in a medical home, their quality of care goes up and overall costs will actually go down. Now, this should make intuitive sense to everyone that if a patient gets good quality care, that, that overall it would prevent worse outcomes later, so it would make things cheaper. Ensuring all patients have a medical home will require physician payment reform that encourages and rewards high-quality, comprehensive, and continuous care. That's why your academy is working with AAFP and other physician organizations, as well as consumer groups and large employers, to make the patient-centered medical home the foundation of our health care system. These are the healthcare professionals, these are the docs uh, that work closest with their patients. Uh, they understand not only the healthcare issues that the patients face, but also their, their, uh, their family concerns and their family needs and, and their community stresses and strains. Uh, so they have a, a, a pretty uh, holistic uh, understanding of uh, not only the particular illness, uh, but the patient and the patient's uh, uh, part in the community. Although I'm not a healthcare professional, in my own simplistic way, I sort of look at family physicians as the quarterback of the team. Uh, we've got a healthcare system that has lots of uh, superstar specialists that deal with us when we have needs that rise to that level, but the ones that know us, uh, the ones that advise us and counsel us and meet with us most often are, are the family physicians. So uh, of all the folks that ought to have a voice in, in our healthcare reforms, uh, they should be at the table. When you consider the growing cost of medical care across America, there are certain common sense approaches that we should be turning to. Medical homes would be one of those to make sure that primary care physicians can be in direct touch with families on a regular basis to provide them the best and most economical health care. For more on what your academy is doing for you and to learn how you can get involved in the fight for family medicine, 
Log on to the Academy's website at www.familydoc.org. Reporting for the California Academy of Family Physicians, I'm Jonathan Nelson, and this has been your Academy in Action.